This is Jupiter Today for the 25th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant two, heading west. Going to be transiting Jupiter soon. Europa is also in quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede is in quadrant three, heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant two, heading west. By six hours UTC, EO has successfully transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant three, heading west. Europa is just about to begin its transit of Jupiter. At 12 hours UTC, EO has reached its western elongation and is moving into quadrant four, gonna be heading east. Europa has now transited Jupiter and is gonna be in quadrant three, heading west the rest of the day. Ganymede is coming up on its western elongation. It's going to be moving into quadrant four, heading east. At 18 hours UTC, EO is firmly in quadrant four, heading east. And by 1818 UTC, EO goes through an apogee. That's the furthest distance it'll be from Jupiter in this orbit. And that distance is 423,540.8 kilometers. And by zero hours UTC, EO has passed behind Jupiter and has moved into quadrant one, heading east. Europa still in quadrant three, heading west, but getting close to its western elongation. Ganymede is now firmly in quadrant four, heading east. And Callisto continues in quadrant two, heading west. There are nine Jupiter satellite events today. At zero hours 42 minutes, EO begins its transit of Jupiter. And at 108 UTC, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 259, the transit of EO ends. And at 326, the shadow of EO egresses. At 518 UTC, Europa begins its transit of Jupiter. And at 613 UTC, the shadow of Europa ingresses. At 812 UTC, the transit of Europa ends. And at 908 UTC, the shadow of Europa egresses. And at 2159 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter. There are two satellite mutual events today. The first goes from 1506 to 1513 UTC when Europa occults EO. It's a 6.3 minute event with an impact parameter of 0 0.006 and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.586 magnitudes. And they're a good distance away from Jupiter, 99.07 arc seconds. And the visibility of this event on the Google Earth map is all of Asia. And it looks like all of Australia. And the second mutual event as part of a pair goes from 1551 to 1558 UTC. And that's when Europa eclipses EO. That's a 7.2 minute event with an impact parameter of 0 0.042. And that is gonna have an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.896 magnitudes. That's a nice deep drop. And it's a good distance away as well, 92.44 arc seconds from Jupiter and Europa and EO, and EO are 16.99 arc seconds apart. And visibility for this as well is a good part of Asia. 
little bit of Europe, maybe some Africa, and Australia. Orbital ribbons for today. These are just the temporal connections between the four moons of Jupiter, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. And here's the connection between Io and Europa today. This is as if we were looking down upon the system with Jupiter in the center here. So there's Io and Europa and Io and Ganymede. That's a nice, almost a symmetrical sheet there. And Io and Callisto. And then Europa and Ganymede. Europa and Callisto. And finally, Ganymede and Callisto. And then I colorize these and combine them to get that for today. I can also change the viewing angle of the plotting program that I use. And so I did that in this case and came up with a couple other interesting angles. All right, 24 hours of Jupiter's sky. See what's happening in the Jupiter system today. There goes Eo moving between the Sun and Jupiter, and from Earth's point of view, that's a transit. Europa is right behind. Eo is on its way to moving in front of Ganymede, from but from the longitude that we're located here, we won't be seeing that. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 3.09 and the second at 13.04 UTC. There were some new images posted on the web. And there was some new radio data. And there were no new papers. So it's zero hours UTC. The position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, 11 minutes, 24.8 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 14 minutes, 52.9 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 159.231 degrees, and that's 1.123 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 3.772 degrees, and that's 0.196 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 658 million 367,030 kilometers, and that's 841,815 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 35,075.63 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,827.66 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun 
is 798,527,677 kilometers. And that's 45,604 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And it gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,900.17 kilometers per hour. And that's 1.12 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 108.35 degrees. CM2, 344.18 degrees. CM3, 257.57 degrees. The time of this recording is 2344 UTC on the 24th of February, 2015. So please subscribe, and thank you to those who are subscribing. Make sure to tell everyone you know about this podcast. I'm always trying to make improvements and give different perspectives on the very dynamic Jupiter system, trying to inspire everyone around the world to observe the system much more frequently so we can see what's actually going on up there instead of just having to simulate it. So you can send your comments and questions and suggestions and images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.